Hello everyone, Konnichiwa. Welcome to this video in which I am going to discuss all the questions present in the class 10 Japanese sample paper which was recently released by CDSC. This video covers both the objective type and the descriptive type of questions and it will not only help those who are going to write the board exam but also those who are learning Japanese and want to improve their skills. So please watch it till the end. Let me begin with the pattern for this year. The question paper is divided into two sections A and B. Part A has objective type questions covering grammar and kanji for 40 marks and Part B has descriptive type questions covering creative writing and unseen passages for 40 marks. So the maximum marks will be 80 and you will be given 3 hours to complete the paper. Now let me go through the questions one by one. In Part A the first question is choose correct option to complete the sentences. The first sentence is Panda san wa nihongo ga dash bakarimas. The options are yoku, totemo, Jōzu. The adverbs like yoku, daitai, skoshi are used with verbs in case of affirmative and amari and zenzen are used with verbs in case of negative. So the correct option here will be yoku and the sentence will become Panda-san wa Nihongo ga yoku wakarimas. The second sentence is Kao iro ga warui desu kara kyo wa dash yasunde kudasai. The options are dore kurai, yukkuri, nakanaka. The correct option here will be yukkuri, which means slowly or without any hurry. And the sentence will become Kao iro ga warui desu kara kyo wa yukkuri yasunde kudasai. The third sentence is Dash, diwari desu ne, nani o shimasu ka? The options are mosugu, dandan, skoshi. The correct option here will be mosugu, which means very soon. And the sentence will become mosugu diwari desu ne, nani o shimasu ka? The fourth sentence is dash, hon o kariru koto ga dekimasu ka? The options are ichido mo, itsu made, mo. The correct option here will be itsu made, which means until when. And the sentence will become Itsu made hon o kariru koto ga dekimasu ka? The fifth sentence is Kore kara dash samuku narimasu. The options are Takusan, oki, dandan. The correct option here will be dandan, which means gradually. And the sentence will become Kore kara dandan samuku narimasu. The sixth sentence is Nihon de wa dash zo o miru koto ga dekimasen. The options are Nakanaka, ato de, nankai mo. The correct option here will be nakanaka, which means not easily. And the sentence will become Nihon de wa nakanaka zo o miru koto ga dekimasen. The seventh sentence is Dash, karada no choushi ga yoku narimashita. The options are Mazu, mata, okage samade. The correct option here will be okage samade, which means thanks to you. And the sentence will become Okage samade karada no choushi ga yoku narimashita. The eighth sentence is Kotoshi no natsu yasumi wa dash umi e asobi ni ikitai desu. The options are demo, zehi, soshite. The correct option here will be zehi, which means by all means. And the sentence will become Kotoshi no natsu yasumi wa zehi umi e asobi ni ikitai desu. In part A, the second question is fill in the particles in the sentences below. The first sentence is Ashita minna dash kyoto e ikimasu. The options are De, ga, o. The correct option here will be de, which means together with. And the sentence will become Ashita minna de kyoto e ikimasu. The second sentence is Watashi wa sumo dash daisuki desu. The options are o, ga, ni. When ga is used with adjectives or verbs that denote one's preference or wish, such as ski, kirai, hoshi, etc., the object is indicated by ga. So the correct option here will be ga and the sentence will become Watashi wa sumo ga daisuki desu. The third sentence is kuni dash kaette kazoku dash aitai desu. There are two blanks to be filled and the options are A which has the particle A and ni, B which has the particle de and o and C which has the particle ni and A. The particle A shows the direction so it will be kuni e kaette and since the particle ni is used with the verb aimas the sentence will become Kuni e kaette kazoku ni aitai desu. The fourth sentence is Ano shingo dash migi e magatte kudasai. The options are de, o, ni. The particle o is also used to denote the place where the action of a verb of movement takes place. So the correct option here will be o. And the sentence will become Ano shingo o migi e magatte kudasai. The fifth sentence is 
春はこの公園ダッシュお花見ができます。The options are no, で、お。You would have learned the particle で、which indicates the place where the action occurs. So the correct option here will be で。And the sentence will become 春はこの公園でお花見ができます。In part A, the third question is arrange the jumbled sentences into meaningful ones. Let us see the first sentence. We have kimasen でした、昨日、パーティーに、and santo san wa. By now you would have learned the sentence pattern in Japanese. That is, Subject followed by object followed by verb. So we will start with Santo Samva followed by Kino and then Pati Ni. And finally we will end with Kimasen Deshta. So a meaningful sentence will be Santo Samva Kino Pati Ni Kimasen Deshta. Let us see this second sentence. Because Bijitsu Kamva is there, the sentence will start with it. And because Dekimasu Ka is there, which indicates that it is a question, it will come at the end. So a meaningful sentence will be Bijitsukan wa nanji made kengaku ga dekimasu ka? Let us see the third sentence. Because tsukemasen deshita is there, it will come at the end. And just before that, eokan o will come. So a meaningful sentence will be Amari atsukunai desu kara eokan o tsukemasen deshita. Let us see the fourth sentence. Because gakko e ikimasu is there, it will come at the end. So a meaningful sentence will be Gogo Teresa san o mukae ni gakko e ikimasu. Let us see the fifth sentence. Because oi des is there, it will come at the end. And just before that, furui jinja ya otera will come. So a meaningful sentence will be Nara to kyoto wa furui jinja ya otera ga oi des. In part A, the fourth question is choose correct option to make a meaningful sentence. Let us see the first sentence. The verb is torimas, which means to take. We have to use the nai form, which is tora nai. So the correct option will be tora. And the sentence will become Koko de shashin o tora nai de kudasai. Let us see the second sentence. The verb is nugimas, which means to remove. We have to use the nai form, which is nuga nai. And for the na kutte mo i pattern, the correct option will be nuga. And the sentence will become Kutsu o nuga na kutte mo i des. Let us see the third sentence. The verb is ovarimas, which means to finish. The sentence has the te kara pattern. So we have to use the te form of ovarimas. Which is owatte. So the correct option will be owatte, and the sentence will become shigoto ga owatte kara oyogi ni ikimas. Let us see the fourth sentence. The verb is nemas, which means to sleep. We have to use the jisho or dictionary form, which is neru. So the correct option will be neru, and the sentence will become neru mae ni hon o yomimas. Let us see the fifth sentence. The verb is mimas, which means to see or watch. By now, you must have learned that the purpose of the action is indicated by the mas form followed by ni. And if we remove mas from mi mas, we will get mi. So the correct option will be mi. And the sentence will become Ashita ega o mi ni ikimasen ka? Let us see the sixth sentence. The verb is tabemas, which means to eat. The tai form is tabetai. And its negative is tabeta kunai. The correct option will be tabeta kunai. And the sentence will become Onaka ga ippai desu kara nani mo tabeta kunai desu. Let us see the seventh sentence. The verb is mochimas, which means to hold or carry. And the expression ending with mashoka is used when the speaker is offering to do something to help the listener. A is saying, nimotsu ga oi desu ne. So B will respond with, hitotsu mochimashoka. Let us see the eighth sentence. The verb is shirimas, which means to get to know. Since B is responding with sumimasen, which means I am sorry. We have to use the negative of shirimas, which is shirimasen. And this is an exception which you must remember. The negative is not shitte imasen, it is shirimasen. In part A, the fifth question is choose the correct kanji option of the underlined hiragana words. In the first question, we have ushiro, which means back, and the correct option is the first one. In the second question, we have soto, which means outside, and the correct option is the second one. In the third question, we have tonan, which means southeast, and the correct option is the second one. Actually, in Japanese, there are two ways to express southeast. One is tonan, which is actually east south, and nanto, which is southeast. As you can see, the order of the kanji is from left to right. However, they have different uses. The Japanese use tonan, which is east south, when they are talking about a particular location. For example, for Southeast Asia, they will say tonan ajia. And they will use Nanto, which is southeast, when they are talking about a particular direction. For example, for southeasterly wind, they will say Nanto no Kaze, where Kaze is wind. 
just try to learn the different combinations of north, east, south, west and it will definitely help you. In the fourth question, we have Namae which means name and the correct option is the second one. In the fifth question, we have Thakai which means expensive and the correct option is the first one. In the sixth question, we have Mi of Mimas which means to see and the correct option is the first one. In the seventh question, we have Dukshō which means reading and the correct option is the first one. This is a little confusing but the trick is to remember the combination which makes the kanji for reading. Just remember words plus cell is read and this gives the kanji for yomimas. In the eighth question we have raishu which means next week and the correct option is the third one. In the ninth question we have tenki which means weather and the correct option is the second one. In the tenth question we have oki which means big or large and the correct option is the first one. In the 11th question, we have ta of tabemas, which means to eat, and the correct option is the second one. In the 12th question, we have atarashi, which means new, and the correct option is the third one. In the 13th question, we have skoshi, which means little, and the correct option is the second one. In part A, the 6th question is, choose the correct hiragana option of the underlined kanji. For the first question, the correct option is mikkamae, which means three days ago. For the second question, the correct option is Shimbun, which means newspaper. For the third question, the correct option is Koko Se, which means senior high school student. For the fourth question, the correct option is Ningyo, which means mermaid. By the way, in last year's sample paper, there was Kingyo, which means goldfish. For the fifth question, the correct option is Kitaguchi, which means north entrance. For the sixth question, the correct option is Basha, which means carriage or coach. For the seventh question, the correct option is Nyugaku, which means entry to school or university. For the eighth question, the correct option is E, which means to say. For the ninth question, the correct option is Yasumi, which means holiday. For the tenth question, the correct option is G, which means o'clock. For the eleventh question, the correct option is Michi, which means road. For the twelfth question, the correct option is Tatte, which is the te form of Tachimas, which means to stand. For the 13th question, the correct option is mo, which means gate. The options may be confusing, so please learn the different kanjis that can come in between the two gates. For example, if mouth comes in between, it will mean to question. If sun or day comes in between, it will mean interval. If ear comes in between, it will mean to hear and so on. Next, let me go to part B. The seventh question is, read the passage and answer the questions. Let us read the passage once and understand the content. San ninde hanashite imasu. Yamada. Konshu no doyobi no party no ryori. Nani o tsukurimashou ka? Hayashi san wa niku ga suki desu ka? Hayashi. Sumimasen, watashi wa niku o tabemasen. Gupta. Watashi mo desu. Sore kara sakana mo. Yamada. E? Yasai dake tabemasu ka? Gupta. Tamago wa daijoubu desu. Ayashi. Ah, watashi mo tamago wa daijoubu desu. Yamada. So desu ka. Ja, yasai to tamago de ryori o tsukurimashou. Gupta. Hai, watashi mo itsu mo yasai to tamago de ryori o tsukutte imasu kara. Iro iro na ryori ga dekimasu. Ayashi. Watashi wa ryori wa anmari. Yamada. Ja, Gupta san, tetsudatte kudasai. I hope you have understood the meaning. If not, please pause the video and go through the passage one more time. Now let us see the questions. The first question is, Konshu no doyobi wa nan desu ka? Since there is going to be a party, the answer will be party desu. The second question is, San nin wa ryori ga dekimasu ka? Both Gupta-san and Yamada-san can cook, but Hayashi-san cannot cook. This you can make out because he said amari and did not complete the sentence. So the answer will be, Gupta-san to Yamada-san wa dekimasu ga, Hayashi-san wa dekimasen. The third question is, Hayashi-san wa nani o tabemasen ka? Since Hayashi-san doesn't eat meat, the answer will be, Niku o tabemasen. The fourth question is, Nan de ryori o tsukurimasu ka? Since they will be cooking with vegetables and eggs, the answer will be, Yasai to tamago de ryori o tsukurimasu. The fifth question is, Hayashi-san wa nani ga dekimasen ka? It is clear that he cannot cook that well. So the answer will be, Hayashi-san wa ryori ga amari dekimasen. The sixth question is, 
Gupta san wa sakana o tabemasu ka? He said sakana mo. And if you follow the sequence, you can make out that Gupta san doesn't eat fish. So the answer will be Iye, Gupta san wa sakana o tabemasen. Next, let me go to the eighth question, which is read the passage and answer the questions. Let us read the passage once and understand the content. Yamada san no hanashi. Watashi wa kaisha in desu. Uchi wa chiba ken ni arimasu. Kaisha wa shibuya ni arimasu. Uchi kara shibuya made densha de nijikan desu. Densha wa itsu mo konde imasu kara taihen desu. Asa jikan ga arimasen kara asa gohan o tabemasen. Kaisha no tonari no kissa ten de kohi o nomimasu. Watashi wa kohi ga suki desu. Mainichi goro pai nomimasu. Tabako mo yoku suimasu. Hiru gohan wa kaisha no shokudo de tabemasu. Watashi wa yasai ga amari suki ja arimasen kara teishoku wa amari tabemasen. Yoku kare raisu ya ramen nado o tabemasu. Kaisha wa asa kuji kara yugata goji made desu. Demo mainichi gogo kuji made zangyo o shimasu. それからいつも居酒屋でお酒を飲みます。時々カラオケへ行きます。12時半ごろ家へ帰ります。そして1時ごろ寝ます。日曜日は休みです。私は日曜日に家でテレビを見ます。私はテレビが大好きです。スポーツは嫌いですから全然しません。時々日曜日も会社で仕事をします。I hope you have understood the meaning. If not, please pause the video and go through the passage one more time. Now let us see the questions. The first question is, うちから会社までどのくらいかかりますか Since it takes two hours by train, the answer will be 2時間かかります。The second question is, どうして朝ごはんを食べませんか Since there is no time in the morning, he doesn't eat breakfast. So the answer will be, asa jikan ga arimasen kara. The third question is, どうして定食は食べませんか Since he doesn't like vegetables that much, he doesn't eat the set meal. So the answer will be, 野菜があまり好きじゃありませんから The fourth question is, 会社は何時から何時までですか Since the company's working hours are from 9am to 5pm, the answer will be, asa 9時から夕方5時までです The fifth question is, 会社が終わってから何をしますか Since after finishing the day's work, he goes for a drink and sometimes to karaoke. The answer will be, 居酒屋でお酒を飲みます。時々カラオケへ行きます。The sixth question is, 日曜日は会社へ行きますか Sometimes he goes and works even on Sundays. So the answer will be, 時々会社へ行きます。Next, let me go to the ninth question. Which is read the passage and mark true and false. Let us read the passage once and understand the content. Watashi wa kyonen Tokyo e ikimashita. Nigiyaka de oki machi desu. Takai biru ga taksan arimasu. Soshite hito mo taksan imasu. Tokyo ni wa futsuka dake imashita. Ichinichi me wa sky tree o mitari, sensoji o mitari, asakusa de kaimono shitari shimashita. そして日本人の友達と晩ご飯を食べました。とても楽しかったです。次の日、動物園へ行っていろいろな珍しい動物を見ました。ゾウやコアラを見ることができました。キウイを見ました。キウイは鳥です。でも全然飛ぶことができません。とても面白い経験でした。もう一度日本へ行きたいです。I hope you have understood the meaning. If not, please pause the video and go through the passage one more time. Now let us see the questions. The first statement is, Ichinichi me wa doubutsu en e ikimashita. Since the person did not go to the zoo on the first day, the answer will be false. The second statement is, Tokyo wa okikute nigiyaka na machi desu. Since Tokyo is a big and lively city, the answer will be true. The third statement is, Tokyo no biru wa amari takaku nai desu. Since there are many tall buildings in Tokyo, the answer will be false. The fourth statement is, Doubutsu en de koala o miru koto ga dekimasu. Since the person was able to see koala in the zoo, the answer will be true. The fifth statement is, Kiwi wa tori no namae ja arimasen. It is mentioned in the passage that kiwi is a bird. So the answer will be false. 
Next, let me go to the 10th question, which is read the passage and fill in the blanks with appropriate words given in the options below. Let us see the words first. Kazarimas means to decorate. Oshogatsu means new year. Morattari means to receive. Jumbi means preparation. And Tabetari means to eat. Now let us read the sentences one by one. Nihon no dash wa ichigatsu tsuitachi kara nanoka goro made desu. So the appropriate word that will come here is Oshogatsu, which is New Year. Let us continue. Gakko wa junigatsu niju gonichi kara ichigatsu nanoka goro made fuyu yasumi desu. Junigatsu sanju ichinichi made oshogatsu no dash de isogashi desu. The appropriate word that will come here is jumbi, which means preparation. Let us continue. Nenga jo o kaitari, soji o shitari shimasu. So shite, kado matsu ya shime kazari de uchi no mae o dash. The appropriate word that will come here is kazarimasu, which means to decorate. Let us continue. Watashi wa ichigatsu tsuitachi ni itsu mo kimono o kite jinja e ikimasu. So shite, minna de osechi ryori o dash, otoshi dama o dash shimasu. Totemo tanoshi desu. The appropriate words that will come in the last two blanks are abetari and morattari. Next, let me go to the 11th question, which is strike off the mismatch word. In the first group, we have chichi, haha, sai and imoto. Father, mother and younger sister all belong to a family. So we have to strike off sai. In the second group, we have dare, donata, kochira and nan. Except for kochira, which means here, all the others are interrogatives. So we have to strike off kochira. In the third group, we have indo, nihon, gakse and chugoku. Except for gakse, which means student, all the others are countries. So we have to strike off gakse. In the fourth group, we have haha, imoto, sobo and sofu. Except for sofu, which means grandfather, all the others are ladies. So we have to strike off sofu. In the fifth group, we have ishuka, ichinen, ikkagetsu and yoji. Except for yoji, which means four o'clock, all the others indicate duration. So we have to strike off yoji. Next, let me go to the twelfth question, which is write an essay on the given topic. The topic is shumatsu, which means weekend, that is Saturday and Sunday. I will leave this question to you. So please think of what you did on Saturday and Sunday and put it in simple words. Next, let me go to the thirteenth question, which is please see the picture and make the conversation. I'll give you some hints. The clock shows 12 noon, so it is lunch time. And then we can see that the two of them are ordering food in a restaurant. And finally, it is time to pay the bill. And of course, in most of the cases, the Japanese will go Dutch, that is split the bill. This is called varikan. And if you want, you can make use of this word in the conversation. Actually, there is an or given in the paper. So instead of this question, you can also write at least five to six dialogues to complete the following conversation. As you can see, A is asking, Do shimashita ka? Which means, what happened? And then B is explaining the situation to A. For example, A can be a doctor and B can be a patient. Here again, I will leave this question to you. Please try to think on your own and make the conversation as interesting as possible. Next, let me go to the 14th question, which is about making a new post in Instagram. The topics given are, Saikin Mita Ega, which means the movie which you saw recently. And, Restaurant de tabeta nihon ryori, which means the Japanese food which you had at a restaurant. Here again, I will leave this question to you. Since you have plenty of time before the exam, please use this sample paper as a reference, prepare properly and do well in your exams. So that is it for now. I hope this video was useful. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. And if you found the video good, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.